hi everyone this is Hilal Ahmed and you are watching soft coding guys in this video we will make a simple application where we will have a enter text and a button so if the user uh, click this button without entering any text here so we will uh, alert the user like this uh, please enter some text okay and if the user enters some text like I enter my name here uh, Hilal Ahmed okay and uh, if I click this button now, so it will show my name here in the alert dialog. So basically the main uh, concept of this uh, tutorial is uh, I will show you how you can create, a how, how you can implement a alert dialog in your Android application. Okay, so uh, let's open up your Android studio and create a new project and as I have already created a new project, so open your activity main.xml and from here we will delete this text view and here we need a plain text uh, it is also called uh, edit text so I will connect the constraint to the fourth side okay and now I have to change the ID of this edit text so I will call it uh, simply et text okay and click refactor and now we need a button to process okay so i will connect the start and end constraint and the top constraint to bottom of this edit text and i will give a margin of 32 dp okay and now i have to change something here we will change this text to hint and i will just simply enter some text okay and we will change this to process okay so now our XML part is ready. Now we have to initialize our edit text and our button here in our main activity at Java. So edit text, et, uh, sorry, et text, ndv, and you will get the find view by id and et text. So now we have to initialize our button, button btn process, okay, ndv. And uh, button to okay. So if you want to change the ID, so you can change it. And we need a click listener on our button, so we will add a click listener. Set a click listener view. Okay, as so here we will add our edit text value to a string. So I will call it uh, simply text, and we will get the value like et text get text to string okay and now here we will check if text dot is empty then we will show a dialog show alert dialog and i will pass a message here please into some text okay and uh, in else we also show the alert dialog dialog and we will pass our text here okay and now to get rid of this red color error we need to create our method here private void show alert dialog and here we will pass a string we'll name it message okay so inside this method we will implement our alert dialog so to implement alert dialog simply type alert dialog then i will name it dialog is equal to new alert dialog uh, sorry dot builder and here pass the context like main activity or not this and we will set a title so set a title uh, i will just simply give a dialog title okay and set message sorry dot set message and you will pass our parameter here and now we have to set a positive button so a positive button 
and uh, a text will be okay new okay dialog interface on click listener and here I will just simply dismiss the dialog interface okay and we will create it most uh, create semicolon and dialog dot show so now our alert dialog is ready you can also set a negative button and a neutral button but uh, we will set only a positive button so we have only uh, one button as you can see here uh, okay as you can see here we have only one button so i will just simply close this app and i will run it again from here okay as you can see here we have our application ready and running so if i click this button it shows please enter some text as you can see here in our f statement we are passing this message please enter some text okay that's because our text is empty our edit text is empty we uh, we don't have any text and this is this is our hands this is not a value okay so if i enter soft coding or simply write uh, hello soft coding and now if I click the button so I get our text from edit text and show it in our alert dialog okay so as you can see here if we click outside of our dialog so it is dismissed okay so to prevent this uh, is a value set cancelable false so if the user click outside of dialog um, instead of buttons so the dialog will not be closed as you can see here i will run it again okay if i click this and now we have a dialog on our screen and if i click outside so it is not dismissing the dialog so if uh, i click on this okay so the dialog gone okay so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so please subscribe to my channel